The basicity of amine is going to be the topic in this lesson. And when you think of a classic organic compound that acts as a base, amines are it. So if you would have thought of a classic organic compound that acts as an acid, carboxylic acid is the first thing that comes to mind. But for the base, it should be amines that come to mind. And we're going to talk about different factors that affect basicity and things of this sort. They are all things we have done earlier somewhere in this course. So this should be mostly review in this lesson. Uh, but it's nice and convenient to put it all in one place as it relates to this functional group. Now this lesson's part of my organic chemistry playlist. I'm releasing these lessons weekly throughout the school year. So if you want to be notified every time I post a new lesson or when I post my next playlist, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. All right, so let's take a quick look at the basicity of amines here. And just want to start with a quick acid base reaction between an amine and water. So in this case, the amine again is your base and it's just going to come and deprotonate a water molecule. So a simple proton transfer acid base reaction. So in this case, your amine becomes protonated. We get the conjugate acid of your amine. And then when you deprotonate water, you get hydroxide. So if you looked at the equilibrium constant for this reaction, products of reactants, that would be the Kb in this case for ethylamine. Cool. So just big classic thing. When you think of an amine, first thing again that comes to mind, you should think of it as a base. When you think of, you know, considering reactions of amines, so amines are bases. Okay, first thing that should come to mind, but we'll see they also act as nucleophiles and there's a variety of other reactions, but don't forget that they are bases. And oftentimes we use them as bases in a variety of different reactions. All right, so what are some of the factors affecting basicity? Well, the most important one, the one that's going to have the biggest impact is aromaticity. If you're Amine nitrogen, if it's lone pair is part of the aromatic ring of pi electrons, that's going to make it really stable and really make it a weak base. And so in this case, the only one that actually has nitrogens in the ring are these last two. Now this nitrogen here, the lone pair is not part of the aromatic system. If you recall, we said if the nitrogen in your ring is already making a pi bond in your resonance structure that you're showing, so well then the lone pair can't also be pi electrons. You can only have one uh, you know, set of pi electrons, you know, that are uh, attributed to each atom in that uh, cyclic system of pi electrons. So in this case, it, there they are. So it's not them. So these are not part of the pi system. So they're not going to be super duper stable and low energy. Uh, but in this case, these are pi electrons. This nitrogen is not making any pi bonds. So in this case, if we include these as being in a p orbital, then two, four, six, that would be an aromatic number. So, and that's going to make this the weakest of the bases on the board. It's the single biggest factor in determining strength of your base is aromaticity. They're single biggest factor affecting your ways. And so if you look on your hand out there, our pKa here, or pKb, I should say, is 13.6. And uh, the lower the pKb, the stronger the base, just like the lower the pKa, the stronger the acid. And so I'll find that this is going to be the highest of the pKbs of any on our list. Now, the second thing is going to be resonance. And notice aromaticity leads to delocalization of electrons. Well, so does resonance. So and notice this was the R in ARIO or R in CARDIO, whichever mnemonic you're using. Uh, and in this case, if we look which of these are resonance stabilized. Well, it's definitely not this guy. Uh, no pi electrons of note in this structure. But this one here, the lone pair is on the nitrogen that is one bond away from the pi electrons in a benzene ring. There's going to be resonance delocalization here. And once again, in this case, the lone pair here is not even in a pi uh, molecular orbital or, or a p orbital or anything like that. There's no delocalization there. It's just in an sp2 hybrid, so no resonance there as well. So here's the, going to be the next weakest then. Again, resonance, just like aromaticity, it's also going to lower the energy of the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen, and that's going to make it a more stable and weaker base. So if you look on your hand out there, the pKa here, so 9.4. And we move on here, we look at these last two, and these last two, there's no resonance, there's no aromaticity to worry about uh, as far as the lone pair as well, being part of that aromaticity anyways. Uh, and so it really comes down to hybridization at this point. So for hybridization, you guys, this is the O rule in either ARIO or, or CARDIO, and it comes down to the hybridization of the orbitals the lone pair is in. And so in this case, the lone pair is on an sp3 hybridized nitrogen, it's just a funky B, not a P. So SP3, I think I was drawing the P and the three at the same time somehow. Uh, and in this case though, this lone pair is in an SP2 hybrid orbital. So the way it works uh, is that uh, it's gonna be lower energy, the greater the S character. So here, SP3 hybrid orbitals are one part S, three parts P, they're 25% S. 
So in an SP2, uh, that hybrid orbital is one part S, two parts P, so it's 33% S character. If you, if you went to an SP hybrid orbital, it's one part S, one part P, it'd be 50% S character. And the greater the S character, the lower the energy. So uh, you might recall that S orbitals are lower in energy than P because on average they lie closer to the nucleus. And so an SP hybrid orbital, on average lies closer to the nucleus than an sp2 and an sp2 lies closer on average to the nucleus than an sp3 and when a lone pair is in an orbital that's closer to the nucleus it makes it more stable the lone pair of electrons are negative the nucleus is positive putting them close together is where they want to be it makes them lower energy more stable and a weaker base and so in this case this is going to be our weaker base in the sp2 than in the sp3 this will be our strongest of the three bases and if you look at our pkas once again so here we've got a pka of eight point i'm sorry pkb of 8.8 .8. and finally here we've got a pkb of 3.3 and again with our lowest pkb this is our strongest of these bases and you might not have been asked to compare all of these in this case but we could have compared all of these but oftentimes you'll either be given a pair and asked to compare the pair and again start looking for a difference in aromaticity first resident second hybridization third uh, and the last comparison is you might get three or four of them and asked to rank them in order and it's still following these three different factors in, in order of importance. Now, if you found this lesson helpful, would you give me a like and a share? And if you found this lesson completely worthless, best way to let me know about that is just to give me a like and a share. So if you're looking for the study guide that goes with this lesson, if you are looking for practice problems uh, on amines, check out my premium course on chadsprep.com.